Hmm. There we go. Magic. Um, we got some things. Got some things. I'm gonna see. Uh, go ahead and flip this camera around. Uh, but basically, we're we're getting on the Lifetime Kayaks Teton Pro. Can you guess what I'm doing? We'll take a closer look. Check it out. All right. I won't go like full fish eye view on you. Won't go like full zoomed in or anything. So we'll go like right, right about there. I don't know what that was. I think a big bug just kamikaze into my into my light. Um, anywho, so where do I start? Okay, lifetime Teton Pro. Um, it's got two seating positions, right? It's got the lower one. Um, if you run the lower one and the front mount, the front always stays the same, right? Like the height of move this around a little bit so y'all can see. Okay, the front part of the seat uh you know if it's if it's in this one um it's all oh, it's down here in this low boy one um if it's here again front of the seat being at the same height um then it's basically equal to that and, and that's cool um but i've got you know stowaway boxes and just things i'm trying to you know a pwm by the way um like doing work super rad um forward neutral reverse off and uh you know i don't know if it's considered digital or analog but it's zero to 100 instead of five settings um and my oh man i got charger batteries i've got a that right there believe it or not that's a 100 amp hour lithium anywho that's on another video again if you haven't already subscribed i've got a ton of content um let me say this again if you haven't already subscribed, I have a ton of content. So subscribe, and as I can get all of it put together, I am by no means a good editor. I wouldn't say I suck, but maybe just a notch above that. Um, as I get it all put together, like I've got a lot of stuff that we're gonna be putting out on this channel, and, um, and I hope you enjoy. It. I hope you learn some stuff. I hope you can avoid some mistakes. Um, please, like that's why we're doing all this. Uh, Actually, that's not true. That's not why we're doing all this. It's fun. For me, it's fun. And uh, if you want to watch long, cool. So um, definitely appreciate the, the likes and shares and uh, and little comments. You know, we've got all kinds of stuff going on back here. But back to this. Wow. Sorry. Didn't mean to waste a minute of y'all's time. Um, you can uh, throw tomatoes at me in the comments. It's not quite high enough. Um, I can show you real quick, right? <laughs> Basically, what I've done here. If I can hold this with the with the chin, that's not gonna work. Oh my god, I'm terrible at. <laughs> that's so funny. I uh, have it sitting in my fish finder cradle right now. Um, if I take these guys off, right? Uh... <clears throat> I'm gonna show you. Um, the standard heights of the seat so you can get a, a good idea right if you've got one of these you already know and if you're happy with it that's awesome um, I'm also just taking a moment to mark um, by the way on the lifetime Teton Pro uh, these these are all um, you know it's just a regular schedule 40 PVC you guys seen all this stuff before it's nothing fancy uh, this is um, the three-quarter so get three-quarter fittings and it it fits on these um i'm marking them because right out of the box you can't see but well yeah maybe you can okay so you know you got little ridges in there and you you can only put it on so far right so i had a bright idea delete my drill over here um take a uh take a one inch Let's see if I can get that turned around. Bam. One inch spade bit. I think it's called spade bit. Um, and uh, basically hog these out. And it goes from uh, being able to go that far down, right? As far as, you know, from the piece there to um, actually completely sliding on, right? So it goes all the way down and meets up with the T. Um, the reason for that is the spacing 
I'll show you here. The reason for that is the uh, the spacing back here, like where where I want to put. You know, normally it would sit in here, but with what I'm doing, I can't make it sit perfectly in there. Um, I'm going to raise it up. It's going to sit on here. Um, I'm going to move the seat a little bit farther back so that I've got a little bit more room up here. So I'm pretty soaked about that. Uh, but what I wanted to show you is I put the phone back in my grab pail. Um, it's probably all shaking around and all that fun stuff. Simply having this hooked together prevents one of the main issues, right? So um, you're like, okay, great. You know, you have this on the chair and here's your riser, but what's to stop, you know, what's to stop that riser from spinning? Well, you know, if this is on the front piece and this is on the back piece, then they can't pivot. Anywho, you either get it or you don't. Um, if, you, if, you, if you really, really, truly don't, like if you're really struggling with the concept of what I'm doing, um, man, I don't know if I feel bad for you or, or, uh, or if that's awesome. Um, I guess you know, part of it is if you can't follow along on this stuff, um, like if you're just totally lost, um, it's kind of awesome. It means that you haven't screwed up as much stuff as I have. I've learned up a lot of stuff. Um, on, on the downside, though, um, some things like this that I consider very basic uh, might just seem seem like a challenge to you. Um, and if that is the case, shoot me a message on Instagram, uh, my chaotic fishing, and uh, I mean, send me pictures of you know what you're struggling with or uh, whatever the case. If you need a parts list, I'll I'll kind of put a parts list down in the in the comments. Um, my bad new with this youtube thing um down in the description below and uh and y'all can check it out but um back to showing you this thing all right so if i'm going to show you this I, I literally have to like take my pwm and put it back there and move all that stuff um because when it's in its lowest position um i, I guess if, it, if it's going to be primarily a like a paddle kayak um like that's probably cool. The uh, the front position. Sorry, I'm trying to pay attention to what I'm doing and film at the same time, and it's going about as well as you can expect it. Um, so I guess like if we're paddling, I guess that lower position, um, these snap in there, and um, it's obnoxious, but you know you you get the point. Like it sits low, um, and I can't really can't really put much under there. I don't even think. Let's see if this guy, like this is a basic little, oh, 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 almost. So in the lowest position, right, it, it'll, it'll just fit under the front. God, I've got to like move all that stuff. <clears throat> you know, this is simulated like fishing rod and I don't know. But I mean, you can see like it's a pain in the butt. If it's in the lowest position and uh yeah it lifts up on the seat a little bit you can see that it's like hitting that and uh watch this watch i bet you if i move it back oh yeah um i'm not trying to sit on plastic all day like yeah that's just not i mean you're, you'd literally be sitting on that yeah so so that okay so that won't work all right <sighs> So then the next option they give you, and I'll do this again, we know that it almost fits under the front, right? Whether it's whether it's in the low position or the high position, we know that, like, this is just a um, Plano XL Pro Latch stowaway. It's just a catch-all, right? I got some stuff in there. Um, we know that it barely fits in the front, and we know that whether you're riding high or low position, the front is the same height, so that's still barely gonna fit but you know i guess you you get a smidge more clearance um when you you know go from the from the low position right to the high position and all that all that happens there is that this um they pop in sorry so you can see there you go. 
right? Um, I can tell you that when I lean over the back here, like you'll see that it doesn't take a whole lot of force. <laughs> Almost ate shit. Uh, doesn't take a whole lot of force, right? You lean on this a little bit and the thing pops out. So it, it doesn't really like secure it or anything. Um, and I guess maybe when I, you know, I should be like flipping that down and going back, but you know, I do a 180 here and put my knees on the seat and I reach back and I fumble with whatever I'm fumbling with. That's my fish knocker outer in case they don't listen. I'm, I'm just kidding. I don't knock fish out. <laughs> I got to catch them to do that. Ah, I got jokes. So now, okay. Um, yeah, we got, okay. So now I've got some options. So now I got some options. Um, basically what I am doing for the bottom of the seat, right? Um, if you're sitting in the seat, this is your left side. This is your right side, front pole, back pole. And what I'm, what I'm messing with here is taking these guys, right? And, uh, I've got the things drilled out right so that they fit all the way over <clears throat> right if you don't drill them out they go on that far and they they straight they just stop right if you have them drilled out with that spade bit they you know they butt up against the, the actual bar but like if you sit on these you know what's going to keep them from rotating and spinning and you could do self tappers and you could i mean you could you could do that stuff um, I guess it worked fine. So I took it a step further and wanted it even a little bit higher, um, which is fine for me. I, you know, wherever my balance is on the scale of can balance decently or can't, whatever, I don't really care. Um, I can stand up in this no problem. I see a ton of people who coincidentally, like they don't have this kayak, but they know all about it and how terrible it is. You know those folks. Um, talk about how you can't stand up in this. Like, I've literally, I've caught 30-pound buffalo out of this thing. Um, you didn't know buffalo swam. It's a type of fish, dummy. Um, the, uh, uh, you know, the bite was pretty good. I was standing up, though, when it happened. So, um, I don't have GoPros yet. You know, I'll, uh, I'll put my PayPal in there uh, in the description below. So, if you want to, if you want to hook a brother up, you want to, Give me some uh, some GoPro money, um, then I'll catch that stuff on on film. Uh, otherwise, you're just gonna have to wait for a little bit. So um, now this right, I've got these sides drilled out so they can fit all the way. Um, I this is a 90. Um, forget what this is called, but uh, you know it's three quarter by three quarter by three quarter, and it all fits on there. I'm sure my camera is wiggling right now, but whatever. Anywho, now, as you see, it can't, you know, this isn't going to rotate back and forth. It just, it's not the way it works. So, um, through the magic of videography, we're going to make one appear on this side. Bam! Boy, if I, if I timed that right, it, if I timed that right, it looked cool. Um, in my mind. Okay, so, like, all I've done is... Cut out little sections to join the 90 and this other piece together. Um, somebody had some random music on outside. I, I guess these could have been 90s too. I don't know. I thought there was a little bit more structure in this. And who knows, I may put another piece because you can mount stuff. Yeah, it'll go into my whole Project Overkill theme here. So, whatever. It's what we're doing. Don't like it? Change the channel. Here, today, this is what we're doing. So now, alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, I am going to be mounting this in the front section. Um, the back section has a little strap and, uh, Boy, look at the room. Look at this. Dang it. Oh, man. There's, like, lots of room. 
I'm super excited about it. Can't wait for the uh, PVC hater crew to come and give me shit about how it's going to break or whatever. I don't care. Man, if it lasts me a season, I'll be stoked. So, um, yeah, like I said, I can always run another piece. I mean, it, you know, a stick of this stuff is, I mean, it's more now than it used to be, but I think a stick of this stuff, it was about five, six bucks. Um, so yeah, pretty stoked on that. What I'm going to do, um, actually is I've, I've got the inside of those pieces. I don't know if you can see in there. Let's see. Yeah, you can see my super not, you know, super clean opening there. Um, that whole, you know, that whole section right there used to just be filled in. But uh, basically, I've, uh, well, I've opened it up. So um, I'm not going to add another cross piece in front of it because that would kind of ruin what I wanted to do. I found these guys. This is a DeWalt. Um, it's a catch-all. Um, it also uh, carry some of that stuff. And you know, I've got whole other... I don't know if you can see. Man, that light. I've got whole other... I mean, I've got entire boxes. I've got I got a lot of tackle. I know. Um, but uh, but this thing's, you know... Like it says, right? IP53. Can my... Can my smart people tell me what that means? I don't feel like Googling it right now. Um, it's, it's you know, it's I'm going to call it what I call it. It's splash proof, you know. It's got a little rubber, rubber guard. These are 20 bucks from Home Depot. Um, and what I'm going to do is, uh, you know, this thing flips up. Um, hmm, thought it would go back more. I might turn it around. Um, but probably what I'll do on this because you can set it up however you want is um yeah might set it up like that huh don't really like that I don't know. maybe i'll leave it like that and this can be for all my soft plastics and that can be for the other stuff that i throw around um but what's cool is i'll you know i'll, I'll throw my phone in here i'll throw some other random stuff in there um and it means that i don't have to lean back and go into the catch-all um but anywho so pretty stoked on that the dewalt one is 20 bucks the red and black one if you know what brand that is that was 53 dollars for same thing um anywho closes up easy enough and uh Plenty of room. Lots of good room. And this, uh, honestly, like, I've been out, uh, been out on this thing, you know, in good winds. Oh, it was fine. Like, I don't know. I've got some video posted on Instagram. Check it out, My Chaotic Fishing. Otherwise, that'll do it for today's video. Um, if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, and uh, that way, when I post this next one, um, you'll see how I got those connected. I'll have them connected. I'll have them painted because that's <clears throat> PVC is cool, but it's not cool enough to leave PVC, right? Like, oh, there we go. Yeah, there, that guy there holds my GT54 transducer, which, by the way, is going to be for sale. I need a GT56. I know. I said need. Yeah. Um and uh, we'll be mounting the Mega 360 here real soon. Anywho, if you hung out to this far in the video, then you know about different stuff that we're going to be doing. I appreciate it. Hope y'all are having fun, enjoying the chaos. Again, if you're still watching, you got a little bit of a hint at some other things that we're doing. Live scope, Mega 360, kayak, fun stuff. Stay red. Be well. We'll catch you next time. Thank <laughs> you.